right, we're going to start off with a quick little poll. How many of you feel like you're going to go into a food coma? Raise your hand. <laughs> All right, we're going to see if we can keep you out of one, OK? My name is Sherry Kurtical. I am a Zoho partner. I'm also the owner of Holistic Business Solutions. And I'm currently also an executive at a startup software company called BeWise. But this session has absolutely nothing to do with me. First and foremost, I am mom to Zoe Kurtival. So, okay, this is running backwards. I think I need some help with this clicker here. Okay. So, I just want to say that because the session has nothing to do with me, I am simply going to narrate a story about a young girl and her zebra. Now, we're all here at Zoholics to learn more about the creator application, learn some about reports, some of the new stuff. For some of you guys, this is your first time here, right? And you want to learn more about what the applications do and what you can do with them. For some of you, it's your job, someone told you you had to come, and they paid for your trip. And then there are those of us who have been longtime users, and we're here to learn more about the new features and what we can do in the future, and some of these features are really exciting, right? Yeah. But we all have one important thing where Creator brings us all together. Whether it's by force or by choice, we are all <coughs> problem solvers. So Zoe, while in the fourth grade, decided to build a mobile app, the Zebra app. This app allows kids to report adversity in the privacy of their own computer or device. conducting a feasibility study in grade four and testing the live app in grade five. Zoho Creator was actually used as the platform because of its ease of use. Think of Google's new driverless cars. It has super advanced technology that allows the car to make complex decisions, but to the user, it's really easy. You get in, you tell the car where you want to go, and then you sit back and enjoy the view. Zoho Creator also had the advanced back-end functionality with easy drag-and-drop functionality for the user. Creator allowed Zoe to take complex human scenarios and make them easy to explain in a simple interface. Now, all good apps have to have a solid user experience and they need to serve a purpose. At face value, this app is for kids, but Zebra goes much deeper. So we wanted to make sure that not only the kids would be able to report what was going on, but something could actually be done about it. In order to accomplish this, she went right to the source, the middle school guidance team. 
She chose the middle school guidance team because this is the age where hormones start kicking in and we see a real spike in complex emotions and adverse behaviors. Middle school is also a key milestone where most parents allow their kids to have a mobile phone. She interviewed Mrs. Brewey, the guidance, the Rice Middle School Guidance Department, asking her what information would be useful to the team, how would they use this information, and how would it benefit the kids doing the reporting. So we learned that there are several key scenarios which usually surface. One kid is being picked on by another kid. One kid is being picked on by many kids. One kid is picking on another kid. Many kids are being picked on by one kid. And many kids are being picked on by many kids. These scenarios represent a bulk of the situations. Using the data reported from the app, the guidance teams are able to assess how the reported scenarios are fitting into one of these scenarios and being able to appropriately address the situation. Now, we're gonna look at some of those scenarios and see what this data might show. <coughs> Scenario number one could be as a result of Mary stealing Sally's boyfriend and Sally is retaliating. If Bobby is picking on everyone with whom he interacts, there might be a problem at home for Bobby, and the guidance team can intervene and find out more and offer support. Nancy is getting picked on by multiple kids, so Nancy might be dealing with self-esteem issues and needs the guidance team to help her boost her confidence levels. Any of the above might also be affected when there's multiple bystanders. If these multiple bystanders are the same people over and over again, then that needs to be addressed. All of these scenarios can be helped, but only if you're able to see the information and address the problems. None of these can be addressed if you don't have access to the data. The Zebra Apps data fields are primarily quantitative to make the reporting more consistent. Most fields are required, as it asks questions that some might not think to even approach if they're under duress or if they're not able to report the situation right away and they have to do it you know, many hours or even a day after it happened. Think about when you last went to the doctor for something specific. Then you came home and you said, oh my God, there was that one symptom and I forgot to tell them and it may have been really important. So this is why the questions are guided in making sure that all of the appropriate information is recovered. Now, in its present state and for legal liability reasons, it does not ask for personally identifiable information. But in a real use case scenario, we would have a login where people could go in and create a username, and that username would then attach itself to a student ID, and the guidance team would be able to identify and verify the student individual. Because, uh, did I skip one? All right. Um, because Zebra is web-based, it can be used by any student, uh, even those without their own computer and device. This is really important. Anyone could go to their public library and fill out the information, um, regardless, you know, making sure that it's inclusion for all, regardless of their socioeconomic status. So this was really important. When Zoe conducted her feasibility study, her primary focus was seeing if her fellow students found the app to be useful. Would they go to a teacher or a guidance counselor? Or would they prefer to put the information in the app? Was the app easy to use? Um, did they feel safe entering the information into the app? And would they use the app if it were available to them? 
When we did the feasibility study, the questions on that were overwhelmingly yes on all counts. When we tested the live app the following year, and we did this with parental permission, uh, we were pleased at how candid the kids were in expressing the things that were going on, but we were really shocked at some of the behaviors that were reported. We found interesting information in the, in the reports. We found that 30% of our respondents reported that the incidents were happening daily. 36% of the incidents were going unreported at all. And girls with a target of over double the incidence of boys. There is clearly work to be done to help those who are targets of unwanted attention. The idea behind Zebra was just to offer a simple tool to aid in, this, in these efforts. I speak for both my husband Dennis and myself in saying we are really proud of Zoe for this project and for the very thoughtful person that she is. So at this stage, I'm gonna pass this over to Zoe to say a few words. You want to this? Just a I have a lot of people I wanna thank at this developers conference. First of all, I wanna thank Mrs. Brewery for taking some time for us to interview her about the app. I want to thank the students who have filled out my app and helped me win again at Robinson School. I also want to thank my fourth and fifth grade teachers who have been very supportive. I want to give a very big thank you to my principal at Robinson Elementary. She was a very big help with my app and I'm pretty sure she was happy that I made a solution to stop bullying. The two biggest thank yous I want to give are the people that work at Zoho and my family and friends. Zoho, without your creator platform, the app never would have been a success. Thank you so much. This has been a great opportunity. So I think we have to so I think we just have a few minutes for some questions. Does anyone have any questions? Any uh, plans on going live on uh, Play Store or some sort of, uh, you know, to take it nationally? Um, well, I can say that uh, Zebra is under some development and with some of the new stuff that's coming out, um, it'll probably be better than it was originally planned. So, TBD. Right on. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Oh, somebody else has a question? Oh, yeah, one more okay. question here. Zoe, had you uh, used Creator before you had uh, launched your Zebra project? No. That's amazing. <laughs> so I, I think the real point here is that, you know, like I said earlier, we're all problem solvers, and that's really what it comes down to. Um, and I think you've all been able to hear so far today that Creator is a very easy to use application that a fourth grader can step into something that's never been used before and create something so amazing. So thank you. Yeah.